What's going on guys? So in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys the mods that I already have done on my B8.5 Audi S4. Now this does work for B8, B8.5, A4, S4s, and S5s, and A5s. But um, as you guys can see in the front, I do have the aftermarket honeycomb grill. And I do have this S4 badge that I did get off eBay. Looks really good up front. But um, let's let's pop the hood and check what's under the hood real quick. All right, guys. Um, I just want to apologize. We're literally right next to a bridge, so it's probably a little loud. But under the hood, I do have the upgraded supercharger pulley. This is the CTS Turbo upgraded supercharger pulley. It is a smaller one. Over here, I do have the carbon fiber cold air intake inlet from ECS Tuning. That does make the supercharger whine a lot louder. I do have the APR carbon fiber cold air intake, and it does come with a secondary cold air intake, which is really cool. Um, I'm eventually going to wrap this with a heat shield because the problems that these cars have, as you guys can see under here, see how it's rubbing? So I don't want that to rub anymore, so I'm going to I'm gonna uh, wrap that with a heat shield. And also, for the mods, I am APR Stage 2 single pulley tune, as you guys can tell because I already have the uh, supercharger upgraded pulley. I don't have the crank pulley. The crank pulley will be on soon. I'm going to do a two-part episode for that. So I'm gonna do the crank pulley and the ultra charger. It's gonna be a two-part episode, but um, let's get this radiator cover off. That way you guys can see my PLM heat exchanger. All right, guys, I do have the cover all off and I do wanna apologize, it's snowing, but this is my PLM heat exchanger. It works extremely well. I did slap the ECS tuning badge on it because I did get this a week before ECS dropped theirs. You guys can kind of see it through the uh, honeycomb. Another thing about the honeycomb grill, the honeycomb grill actually makes the car breathe a lot better too, because it's more open. It is a little more um, loud, when you're driving but it's actually worth it the car actually does breathe better and especially with the upgraded heat exchanger it helps out a lot and especially with the cold air as you guys can tell it's snowing out here the cold air the car is loving the cold air but um yeah i did install everything myself i didn't go to any shop for anything besides the um the apr tune i went to ecs tuning for that and then the second time i went to hs tuning in uh westlake i do live in ohio so i do have like a lot of resources and yeah that's pretty much it for under the hood um, I do want to get the ultra charger since we're talking about under the hood. I do want to get the ultra charger I do want to get the carbon fiber um, Cover for the engine. I do want to get the carbon fiber radiator cover I do want to get upgraded coil packs and spark plugs because that'll make the car perform a lot better once I get the ultra charger I think it's actually needed with the ultra charger, but um yeah, everything everything's pretty good Everything's working extremely well um, I'm gonna show you a, cl a quick clip under the car of my ECS tuning trans mount insert real quick so you guys will see that right now so crawling under the car i hope you guys can hear me crawling under the car we do have the trans mount insert from ecs tuning it is much much better than the uh, factory one that comes with the car so i would i would recommend upgrading that too as well they also do have other inserts that you can buy but let's move on so moving on to the brakes i do have the slotted rotors from ECS Tuning. This is assembled by ECS Tuning. They are ceramic and I do have the EBC brake pads. They work extremely well. I did put those on myself. Like I said, all the work I do myself. Really good uh, brakes and rotors. Now uh, we're gonna go to the back real quick. Like I said, APR stage two. But um, I do have the uh, ECS Tuning trunk lip and the rear diffuser. And I also have the AWE Tuning exhaust tips as you guys can see down there. But um, another thing with the uh, ECS tuning trunk lip, it didn't really fit all the way when I got it, but I literally had to wait about a month or two, probably even three months for this trunk lip. So I wasn't even gonna complain. I'm not really complaining about it, but um, I do have their rear diffuser as well too. It does make the car look really aggressive. Looks super good. And I do have AWE tuning exhaust tips. I think I'm gonna stay with the factory exhaust because I've been talking to a lot of people who actually mod their uh, S4s or S5s and they said just to keep the factory exhaust and get gutted cats. So I did go to Audi, The uh, I don't know how to say, I think it's Audi Zine, Audi Zone. I did go to their website and I'm actually uh, talking to somebody with gutted cats right now and we're in the, um, we're in the process of making a sale. So that's gonna be really cool to have gutted cats. It's gonna sound really good, but let's go to the inside of the car real quick. Um, for, look, real quick before we go to the inside, the outside mods that I want to do, I'm thinking about getting the carbon fiber trunk lip and the carbon fiber rear diffuser. It does look really aggressive in the back, but um, like I said, that is from ECS Tuning. I want to go pick that up myself, but let's go to the inside real quick, and I do want to get coilovers, definitely, but the inside is not really clean, but I do have this custom suede steering wheel. 
I got that from uh, Me Want, I think. And to, I found out that this trim right here, I found this out from a follower of mine on Instagram. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. That's Dynamic Demon S4. But I found out this is Audi's piano black trim. And it's it's very rare. Not every car got that. Mostly, um, mostly every car got like this, this color going down. So that's really cool. And another thing I got are these cool S4 stickers to go for the seats. I think these add like 14 horsepower, but they look really good as well. As you guys can see and they look super good from the outside let me go on the outside and show you guys you guys can see it from the outside i thought that, that was pretty cool oh you guys can't really see it today because it's kind of a gloomy day but you guys kind of see them you know what i mean because it's snowing outside but um yeah i do want to do a lot to this i want to do coilovers i want to get the uh, carbon fiber side skirts definitely want to black out the uh, chrome trim get some different wheels i have these wheels on right now because it is snowing i am in ohio but um yeah, so I'm going to stay with the uh, the factory exhaust, get some gutted cats, coilovers, some carbon fiber accents. I'm going to get a lot done to it. I am going to get it wrapped to camouflage most likely. But um, look, everybody, everybody wants to see what I'm doing. But um, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much it for the car. I think I want to get the carbon fiber mirror caps as well too. But the car does look super good. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I got done to the car so far. But yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe and drop a like.